Thanks for staying with News 3 Now. A Madison emergency responder is accused of sexually assaulting a patient in the back of an ambulance during a transport. 36-year-old Timothy Ovidal is facing felony, a fel felony sexual assault. Madeline O'Neill is live outside the Dane County Courthouse where Ovidal appeared today. Maddie? Ovidal is out on signature bond this afternoon. Court ordered to not work in any health care capacity or to have any contact with the victim in this case. She alleges Ovidal groped her and exposed himself to her while she was on the gurney in the back of an ambulance on the ride from a Janesville hospital to a Stoughton hospital in May, according to court documents. She also says Ovidal whispered inappropriate things in her ear and said he'd call her once she got out of the hospital. The criminal complaint says DNA evidence supports the victim's claims. Ovidal was a volunteer firefighter for the town of Madison for 13 years before he resigned two months ago, according to Chief David Bloom. Bloom just learned about the allegations this afternoon and says he wouldn't have expected it from the hardworking volunteer. Just don't want to hear that about anybody that's on your service or works for you. It's a difficult situation. It was Orion Brothers Ambulance, according to court documents. An owner of the business says they have no comment on the pending case and haven't yet answered questions about their safety protocol. The director of a statewide EMS organization says it would be ideal to have two staff members in the back of an ambulance, but that's not always possible with staff shortages. Now, Ovidell is due back in court here next month. Maddie O'Neill reporting live downtown. Maddie, thanks.